Hello everyone, it looks as though my AirPods did not pick up anything that I wanted it to, so we are going to go ahead and come right on to our hands and knees, tabletop position, tucking the toes, rolling the shoulders back, and looking up. Then we are going to protract those shoulders, exhaling as you do so, tucking the chin to the chest, really pushing out at those shoulders before doing that again, rolling the shoulders back and down, looking up, inhaling, and then we'll push out, exhaling. We'll do that a few more times. Again, inhaling, rolling those shoulders back, looking up, and then we'll exhale, pushing out of those shoulders and looking down. One more time, inhaling up, and then while exhaling down, pushing out of those shoulders, then we'll come back to a neutral tabletop, tucking those toes, pushing into our first downward dog. From here, you have the option to pedal up those legs, maybe switching from left to right, exhaling as you do so, really trying to get into those hamstrings and calf muscles as well. Bringing both heels back down to the mat, we'll go ahead and lift up the right leg, making sure not to externally rotate. We'll exhale as we bring the nose to touch the knee before dropping that foot right in front of us, coming up to crescent lunge, holding there, inhaling, and then exhaling as you bring your palms right to the back of the pelvis, inhaling to look up, staying strong in both legs, staying there for a few breaths here. Bringing the hands up overhead, inhaling, then we'll exhale as we lean forward, bringing that knee into the chest, hovering before exhaling into that downward dog, three-legged dog. Go ahead, bring the right foot down to meet the left. We'll pedal out those legs a few more times, right, inhaling, exhaling to switch to left. Do that a few more times. Bring both heels down to the mat and we'll extend that left foot for exhaling as we curl it into the chest, trying to touch the nose before dropping it lightly in front of us. Bring those hands right on up, crescent lunge, staying strong in both legs. And we'll bring those hands right behind the pelvis again, inhaling, looking up, a few breaths here. Bringing the hands up overhead, inhaling, exhaling as you dive forward, hovering that left knee, or exhaling to push it to a three-legged dog. We'll bring that left leg, our left foot, to meet the right foot before moving through our first Chaturanga Dandasana, moving forward into plank, exhaling all the way down, inhaling upward dog before meeting knee and downward. We're going to stay in this downward dog for five breaths here. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Option to take gaze points as well. Maybe looking at the toes, the shins, the knees, maybe even the top of the thighs. Looking forward, bringing that right foot right in front of us and dropping the back leg. We're going to put our hands on the top of our knees or on the sides of our waist. We're just going to work on some pelvic and lower core engagement. So sinking into the front leg, exhaling to push back up to neutral, inhaling to sink down, exhaling to push up. We'll do that a few more times. Last 
last one here, inhaling to sink into those hips. We'll bring the right foot to the outside of our mat, untucking the left foot by bringing the toes flat onto the mat. And then this is called a lizard pose, so we'll go ahead, push out that right knee to where it feels comfortable, just allowing that hip to open. And if this feels comfortable, option to come on down to your forearms as well. We'll retuck the back foot, exhaling to bring that right foot to meet left, coming back into a downward dog. Of course, we'll do it on the other side, bring that left foot forward, untucking the toes on the right side, inhaling, hands come to the waist or the knees, we'll work on that engagement here, inhaling to lean forward, exhaling to come back to neutral. If you need it, go ahead, tuck that back foot for a little more stabilization, but again, inhaling to lean forward, exhaling to come into that neutral position. Just one more time here, inhaling, coming forward, exhaling to neutral. Then we'll bring our hands down to the mat, walking that left foot out to the edge of the mat, untucking the right toes, and then we'll push that knee right on out. Again, exhaling, pushing it to where it feels comfortable. And you can also come onto your forearms if you're looking for more of a challenge. Walking that foot back on in, bringing both hands down to the mat, we'll exhale back to downward dog. Let's go through a vinyasa again, inhaling to come forward to plank. We'll exhale as we move through that chaturanga, coming up to upward dog, and again meeting me in downward. We'll stay here another five breaths. Again, option to take those gaze points but really engage the breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. You can take ujjayi breath, inhaling through the nose and constricting the back of the throat to exhale. We will play around a little bit here, looking to the top of our mat. We'll inhale and then we'll exhale to jump into malasana, a fun yogi squat. Option to take the feet out a little bit wider to attempt to get those heels down to the mat. We'll bring our left hand down to the mat, pushing the left knee out as we raise that right hand to the sky. You can certainly take the bind if that feels comfortable, bringing the right hand behind to meet the left, looking up or down. Finding yourself coming back to center, we'll do the same on the other side. Right hand comes out, pushing that right knee out. Left hand goes to the sky. Option to bind on this side if you did so on the other side. A few breaths here. back to the center unwinding or unbinding yourself we'll bring both of our hands right in front of us before stepping into plank we'll move through that vinyasa again exhaling as you go down inhaling upward dog and then you'll meet me in downward this will be the last five breaths of our practice so again, taking ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, whatever feels comfortable. And we'll be here again another few breaths. To finish off the practice, we'll just have some more core fun. So roll forward into a plank and then we'll come on to our forearms. 
We're just going to do some knee taps to the mat. We'll do 10 on each side. Two. Three. A few more here. Two more each side. Last time. We'll go ahead, push ourselves right back up to plank, exhaling into downward before jumping in or stepping into a seated position. Go ahead, face forward. We'll just stretch out the mid body to finish off. Inhaling, both hands come up. Then we'll exhale, dropping down the right hand, bringing the left hand over, really pushing out of the right side body to get a long stretch along the left. Now we'll drop the forearms down to the mat. As long as those sitting bones are still on the mat, we want both of them plastered to the mat. We don't want any lifting. Again, pushing out of that right side body, allowing that left to extend very long for inhaling, coming to center, lifting both hands. We'll do it on the other side. Left hand comes down, pushing up and out of that shoulder, getting a good stretch along the right side. Again, you have the option to bring your forearm to the mat as long as both sitting bones are still on the mat. Again, pushing up and out, allowing that right side body to get a very good and deep stretch. Inhaling, coming back to center, both hands meet. And we'll exhale, bringing our hands down to the knees, working out a little bit more, doing some kind of cat-cow variations, but in a seated position. So inhaling, looking up, rolling the shoulders back. Exhaling, rolling the shoulders front, protracting, really hollowing out the center body. We'll do that a few more times. Inhaling up, and then we'll exhale out. Last time here, rolling those shoulders back and down, inhaling, looking up, and then we'll come back to neutral, maybe rolling out the body to right to left, but that will finish off our practice. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, my AirPods picked up nothing, but I hope you guys had a great practice. I enjoyed this flow very much. As always, namaste. I'll see you in another class.